Hey everybody, today we're going to be drawing this giraffe, one of my personal favorite animals. Quite an interesting body shape the giraffe has with that long neck, one of the most identifiable parts about a giraffe is their neck. And then of course their, their, uh, the pattern on their coat is spotted. The tricky, or I shouldn't say tricky, but the hidden part of this project is that if I flip this upside down, the body of this was actually my hand. Do you see that? Today, we're going to use our hand, tracing our hand, to get the basic body shape of this draft. When we're done, we'll add a line for the ground, a little bit of leaves, some foliage that maybe this draft is munching on, and we'll add the spots and color this before class is over. So let's get started. I'm going to slide this one aside. I'll let you keep peeking at him over there. And get my new piece of paper. My name is on the back, of course. And the first thing we need to do is we're actually going to go to the top of the paper. My hand's a little bigger than yours is. But we're going to spread our fingers out nice and wide. Very important that we toss that thumb out away from the other fingers. So I'm trying to scrunch my hand here a little bit because mine's much bigger than yours on this tiny paper. But for yours, please lay it out there nice and wide and keep your hand that is laying down. This hand should be the hand that you do not draw with. You see I've got my other hand waiting with a pencil here. That's important. The hand on the paper should be the hand that you do not draw with. I'm going to come over to this side of my hand first, and I'm staying close to my hand and fingers as I travel around. In fact, my pencil is touching my hand. I'm sure you've traced your hand once or twice before in your life. Pencil should be touching as it goes along the sides here. And when you come out here for the thumb, just make sure that stays on the paper. I'm not going to go down to my wrist. Do you notice this? I'm going to stop here, which will give me a hand that is open at the bottom here. This gets spun around now. The thumb over here will become the tail. We'll talk about that later. And then we've got one, two, three, and four legs out here in the front, which we will change up a bit. The first thing we're going to do here is establish the back of our draft and head up to the top of the paper where we will make the head. Over here on my thumb side, I'm going to curve up for the draft's neck and then turn to go straight towards the top of the paper at an angle. Do you see that? Then I'm bringing this other line up close, but not too close. Here is my draft's neck. Now, I'm going to place a nice oval shape in here for the draft's head, and we'll come back there later for some detail work. Now, we're actually going to erase some of our thumb, so I'm going to erase one side of my thumb. Do you see how I erased the top of my thumb? And, oh, the reason we're doing that is our thumb shape might be a little too big for that tiny draft tail, so I'm going to bring this down a little closer and toss a little bit of fur on the end of my draft's tail. Now it looks a little less like a hand with a thumb and a little more like a draft with a tail. Down here at the bottom, I'm going to take each foot on my draft and add something that looks a little more like a hoof on a draft. They have a nice little hoof shape down there. So I'm going to take out a line, come across, and go back up. Again, side of the finger, come down, across, back up, go down, across, and back up. 
Now I've got my giraffe with four legs, four feet, and I made my tail a little skinnier. Let's come up top now towards the head. Giraffes have these uh, little shapes up here that we're gonna add with a little circle on the top. It's their ears there. And then we've got two eyes. I'm gonna give a little expression to this giraffe's face with his eyebrows. So two circles dot inside, little eyebrows. Let's come down to the snout now. I'm gonna do two curves that are facing each other. C and a backward C. Little dot inside each C. And let's take out a little goofy tongue for this draft with a line on it. Now we can begin showing the coat of our draft, which is spotted. Our spots for the draft should not be perfect circles. That would not look right. I'm going to erase that. Instead, they're sort of like wiggly little spots on the draft, and some of them might be hidden behind, so they start on the edge and go back to the edge. Do you see that? I'm going to do some on the edge and some in the middle here. Have fun with this part. No right or wrong way for the spots on the coat to be. Now that I've gotten my draft drawn, let's make sure people know this draft is on the ground. Let's take a line across. We'll have to start and stop it a few times to show that it goes the entire way across here. And the last thing I'd like to do with you before we finish this drawing is to add a few leaf shapes peeking out of the sides so that people looking at this picture know this giraffe is in a jungle where he has plenty to eat. These curving shapes are pretty easy. And now my draft drawing is done. We will also be coloring today. The coloring of the draft is totally up to you, but I think the base, the main part of the draft's body should be yellow today with the spots being brown. I think that if we made them a different color, people might not know this is a draft. So let's make the base of our draft yellow. The spots will be brown. Ground, leaves, and sky is totally up to you. Perhaps you'd like to also throw a little sun out here in the corner of your artwork. Here's my sun. Maybe you know a better way. Maybe I'll throw in a cloud as well. I hope you have fun coloring today. This is our drawing of a draft where we used our hand upside down as a way to build the draft's body. Have fun.